It wasn't what Utah's motorized recreation community expected in their Christmas stocking. On the 23rd of December, two days before Christmas, Secretary Salazar issued his order number 3310. And 3310 says that the BLM offices throughout the country, which is mainly in the West, are assigned to evaluate lands within their jurisdiction and if they meet wilderness characteristics to designate them as wild lands. It is the third time the federal government has gone in search of eligible wilderness land in Utah. First time it was done because the Congress directed. Second time, Bruce Babbitt got all nervous because the environmentals were climbing all over him. Here comes number three coming around, but this time to kind of avoid it, instead of calling it wilderness, they call it wilds areas. Utah's governor, Gary Herbert, has staked a great deal of political capital on the notion that with consensus and compromise, the majority of land issues can be worked out. He felt betrayed by this development, as did many multiple use advocates. Some who said Secretary Salazar delivered a Benedict Arnold moment. I don't know if it's a Benedict Arnold moment, but it's maybe kind of a Bill Clinton staircase Escalante moment where we kind of were blindsided and really not being told up front what was taking place and what was being discussed. And we were not given an opportunity to give input. Even former Salt Lake Mayor Ted Wilson, who is generally a supporter of additional wilderness designation and chairs the governor's balanced resource committee, thinks that the move by the Interior Secretary was in poor form. Well, I think the orders strained the collaborative nature on all levels, not just the committee, but I think within the public. I think the environmentalists are kind of happy about it, but even they don't know what it really means. I think the more conservative land use side is not happy about it and very upset. And I think it's pulled by the surprise nature of it. It has put us in a position we ought not to be in. If they'd gone through a, a decent process on this, we could have had a much better shot at the kind of agreements we need to get good land policy in the state of Utah. The governor's office is most concerned about the impact the order might have on Utah's rural industries of recreation, tourism, and energy. Our BLM is designed by statute to be multiple use. That means it's not just hiking and backpacking, which are certainly important and certainly a big part of what we do in Utah. But when it comes to agriculture and agribusiness, ranching and farming, when it comes to natural resource development, accessing our energy, whether it be coal, natural gas, oil, and other opportunities, the multiple use of our public lands is very important economically. At a meeting held last Friday in Salt Lake, the Governor's Balanced Resource Committee, supported by the multiple use and motorized recreational community, let the director know how they felt. The gathering was set up to field questions from BLM Director Bob Abbey. It was a far cry from the crowd that attended a similar meeting in April, when the issue of potential monuments was discussed, where the room was primarily filled with supporters of more wilderness. Utah's leaders think that the reaction was not what BLM leadership was expecting. It's a very human gathering with a lot of sort of feeling and emotion and input. and It was kind of the day for the ATV folks. I mean, they, they felt left out in an earlier meeting. This was their time to shine, and they did. They let Director Abbey know what they thought. This is a great state where people really let people know what they think. I think there's a little bit of uh, looking at my shoes and kicking the dirt a little bit by some of the people in the administration thinking this probably was not handled in exactly the most appropriate way, particularly when the state of Utah had been so affirmative in reaching out and saying, hey, we want to be open, we want to cease the, the, the warlike approach to this thing, let's see if we can't work together and find common ground. While Governor Herbert wants to move forward, he has made his position very clear to the BLM. There are three arrows in the quiver on these public land issues. One is negotiation, which we are trying to do all the time, keep good lines of communication, understand, see if we can negotiate settlement and resolution. The second one is legislation. We'll try to legislate and get things resolved that way. But the last one is litigation, and that's an arrow in the quiver that I'm not afraid to use, and we will use it as we see a need and as is appropriate. The long and short of this whole thing is Secretary Salazar is trying to circumvent the law through regulation. And to me, it's, it's time that the rubber meets the road. I was proud of Gary Herbert the other day down there. He stood right up and 
made it abundantly clear. As I noticed, he put his arm around Abby as he pulled him. He said, we're sick of this. He says, how many more times have we got to go through this? What the final answer to that question will be is still up in the air. But for most of the individuals involved, any movement toward a resolution is welcome. From the trailhead, I'm Terry Wood.